you like to listen to a story? Yes. 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 Once upon a time, there were two friends, an ant and a grasshopper. Ant labored in the summer, while the grasshopper sang on the roof. The ant, during winter, was cozy in its home, but the grasshopper was starving because he had not stored any food at all. He went to the ant and begged for food. And said, what were you doing all summer? He said, I sang. Now go dance. <laughs> Good evening, fellow Toastmasters. Good Welcome guests. Good evening. This age-old fable teaches us that industry is rewarded and frivolousness is punished. Now cut to modern day and age and the story which is similar and the story of two brothers, Gautam and Tanmay. Gautam was 45 years of age. He had saved one third of his income for a quarter of a century and he had not taken more than one week's leave in all the years, any year, any given year. Tanmay, on the other hand, was this dashing person who looked to be somewhere in his thirties, he was actually just a year younger than Gautam. Now, Tanmay had lived his life in the, on the fast track. After working for four or five years, he wined, dined, and lived the so-called good life. On the other hand, Gautam was there for his family in love very much. Once Tanmay had exhausted all his money through his lifestyle, he took up all medium jobs like a bartender, a bartender, a waiter in a hotel, and now Gautam had to pay them all. After all, it was a question of family pride. So, Gautam <coughs> had uh, Gautam one day called me and uh, exclaimed, I am fed up of Tanmay. He is going to pay for his deeds. On another occasion, Tanmay actually cheated a friend of his. He borrowed some money and didn't return. His friend was furious. He said, this man has to be sent behind the bars. He's a ruffian, he's a cheat. Again, his family honor was at stake. So, he decided to settle the issue and bail out his brother, who was left untouched. Moving on, just the other day, Gautam was sitting with his hand, hands on his head and uh, we met for lunch. I thought, yes, this man has finally gone to the top. And this is what has happened. He went on. In fact, 
hardly there were words that were coming out of his mouth, but as his face reddened, he said he married an old lady twice his age. And she passed away. Now this man has got five crores of a bank balance and a beautiful jet and he's got a house in Goa and another at golf links. I don't know what to say, but in fact Gautam also stopped talking. He seemed to be in a trance when he woke up Gautam and just moved out of the hotel, shaking his head. I didn't know whether to laugh or cry, fellow Toastmasters. I believe that there are certain people around us who are easy going and uh, they do succeed in life. Do you agree? Yes. yes. And there are others who are sincere and hard working. Do you agree? Yes. So, according to me, my take on this is the way Gautam did. Do your duties, do your work, but don't bother too much about the outcome. And it is beautifully summarized by a Chinese philosopher by the name of Sun Tzu. Lao Tzu. <laughs> Lao Tzu says, do your work and step back. That's the path to serenity. Good in this world.